Did that just take a video? Bama. <laughs> You guys, I was trying to take a picture for the cover and I think I just took a video of me throwing the clothes. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I just realized it definitely looks like I don't have clothes on. I have clothes on. <laughs> welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing another haul as i'm sure you figured out from the title of this video i have another abercrombie haul for you i did an abercrombie haul about a month ago and i have been wearing the stuff i got from that haul so much the stuff i'm wearing is from the last haul that i did it is like this ribbed uh seamless tank top and it is the comfiest thing ever i've been wearing this tank top so much i'm going to show you everything that i bought and do like a little keep and return because I am not keeping all of this stuff. I ordered way too much stuff and also some of it does not fit. So last time I did more so just like basics from Abercrombie. So for this haul I wanted to try out kind of some of the other stuff that a lot of people have been talking about. So I got some of the jeans, specifically the 90s jeans. I got a few more dresses and then some more fun tops and I did get another swimsuit because I have been loving their bikinis and the two I got in the last haul were so cute. So if you haven't already watched that other haul, definitely go watch it and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any more videos like this one and let's get started. <laughs> you guys, honestly, I don't know why I'm wearing a tank top right now. I've been like running around. But it snowed in Michigan yesterday, so I'm gonna be putting a hoodie on. Okay, much better. This hoodie is much more fitting for the Michigan weather right now. Let's get into the haul. I'm going to start out with the dresses. I think probably because that is what I am most excited about. I am obsessed with their dresses. Like, I got a dress in the last haul, it was so cute, so. I ordered a few more. I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of events coming up. Um, wedding showers, actual weddings. My sister is getting married, so I have to go to her three showers. Yes, my sister is having three wedding showers. I love you, Jade. <laughs> and I'm her maid of honor, so I will be at all of those. So I needed a lot of cute, simple dresses to wear to things like that. And I think these also could be worn to a wedding. So. The first one is this taupe, this taupe square neck dress. It is the midi length. I have not bought many midi length dresses before. I know they're really in, but wasn't so sure about it. But this one is so cute. It's so flattering. I put it with this white ja denim jacket over and I thought it looked really cute that way. Um, to just wear it with a little jacket over and a pair of heels. I could also see someone wearing this with a pair of sneakers since I'm probably gonna be wearing it to like a shower or something more formal. I did um, in the try on wear a pair of heels with it, but it is such thick, nice material. It's super comfy. And yeah, I'm a big fan of this one. This color is just everything. This color is so cute. So that is the first dress that I got. Next dress is this high neck green dress. I'm pretty sure this dress right now is like on clearance. Like it was really cheap and it's so cute. It is this seamless material. It's super stretchy um, with a little high neck. And yeah, just so cute. This one is a little bit shorter, but I got the regular length in it and that fit perfectly. I know they do offer it in the short and tall as well. I am five foot eight for reference. Everything I got, most everything is an extra small. Oh, the next dress, you guys, I'm in love with this dress. The color of it is everything. It is so cute. It is this periwinkle purple blue with this ribbed material and the open back. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with this color on me. I don't know, I like need more in this color, I think now, because yeah, with the little back detail, but then the neck is more conservative. I think this is so cute. I can't decide what I wanna wear this to. If I wanna wear it to a shower, a wedding, it definitely is nice enough that you could wear it to a wedding this summer. So 
I think this one is brand new. It just came out with their summer stuff. Definitely check it out because this is one of my favorite dresses I've ever put it on. I might even consider getting this dress in another color. So cute. Okay, so those were the three dresses that I got. And then I also tried out two rompers. It's the same romper, but I got it in two different colors. I got it in black and in this tan color. And the black one I got in an extra small and the tan I got in the small. So in the reviews, everyone said that it ran a little short, but the long was sold out. So I did just get them in the regular length. And this black one, I think I actually liked better on. I thought I would like the tan one better, but I actually think I liked this black one. And the extra small does fit totally fine. If I bend over, probably not great, but I honestly didn't have a problem with the length. This has these little buttons in the front and then a little cinch tie waist. I think this um, would be super cute just to wear with like a pair of sneakers, grabbing lunch, running around. The tan one, in my opinion, on me, looks like I was wearing a brown bag. I don't know if it's because it was also a little big because I got I sized up in this one, but it was just not a flattering situation we had going on. So this one will definitely be going back. I think this color is really cute. Maybe you just need a tan with it and I am like very pale right now. So maybe that's the problem. This, this one just was not working for me, but maybe if you got it in the right size that it fit, I could see it being really cute. Okay, so then let's move in to the jeans. I think it was like TikTok that made these jeans big. I'm not really sure, but they are all the rage, the 90s jeans. So I was like, I have to try it out. So the first pair these are the 90s straight ultra high rise. And I got them in a size 26, which is a two regular. These definitely fit me like pretty good. They were a pretty perfect fit would maybe consider sizing down but I did overall like the fit of them they were a really good length I'm not sold on the black though I've never been a big black jean person I want to like black jeans which is why I ordered them in black because I don't really need more blue jeans but I definitely could use a pair of black jeans but I don't know let me know what you guys think about these I feel like they look meh but they are a really good fit. And honestly, they're really comfortable. So if you are looking for a pair of blue jeans, I would definitely recommend the 90s straight. I, was, I wouldn't say I put them on and I was like, these are the best jeans ever. Like they're comfy, but they are a little stiff. But overall, they're like a good pair of jeans. I'm not sure if I'm fully on the hype of them. <laughs> this next pair of jeans, I'm like genuinely embarrassed to show you guys the try on of these they're the ankle straight ultra high rise and again these are a 26 two regular and they were huge and you guys i don't get it like i am a very true to size 26 typically but first of all isn't a 26 a four i usually wear a four like in zara any other jeans it's usually a four but anyways these were huge they were huge in the waist and then so short so i think that might be the ankle length that's how they're supposed to fit but being 5'8 I guess that's relatively tall and these were just way too short for my liking they have like this dark patch where the logo would be I think that's kind of like what Abercrombie is doing is putting this dark patch instead of the logo which is great because I don't really want my jeans to say Abercrombie either and the pockets are just plain which is nice but yeah I think this fit and wash was just not it for me so these will 100 percent be going back i do want to give it another try because i'm a little bummed that neither of these were perfect on me ordered two pairs of the curve love cutoff high rise shorts i think these are like the 90s style as well so the first pair i ordered is just this blue denim and honestly these are a really good basic staple pair of blue jean shorts but unfortunately they were way too big on me i don't know if that's how they're supposed to fit i might try exchanging these for a smaller size and then see how they fit but overall they're cute they're just really simple again that like dark patch there plain same here with the white ones these ones i definitely think i do want to try 
exchanging and getting in another size because I really liked the like look of them. They're a nice white with a little distressing here, but just being, they were like uncomfortable how loose they were in my waist. So might try sizing down in these. I would definitely recommend overall sizing down in Abercrombie. So now moving into the tops I got. So the first thing is this seamless tank top. This is in the color olive green and it is an extra small as well. It is actually the same tank top as the one <laughs> I'm wearing, but this one is ribbed, which I really, really like. And then this one, I could have sworn it was ribbed when I ordered it, but I guess it's not. It's just like the plain, seamless, stretchy material. These tank tops are just so comfy. I want them in like every color. I do like the ribbed I think better than the seamless but these are just like such a good staple if you're buying something from Abercrombie you might as well throw one of these tank tops in they're called soft AF collection wait <laughs> soft A and F <laughs> wait this whole time I genuinely thought it was the soft AF collection <laughs> but I think it's the soft A and F like Abercrombie and Fitch Okay, moving on. These are great. You need them. Stretchy, comfy, cute. We love it. The next tank top that I got is this. Is this called a Henley? I think this is called a Henley. This tank top, I got it in two different colors. So the first one is just plain white with these little button guys here. How cute. It is just ribbed. This is such a good, simple, sta staple I am always buying more little tank tops because especially during the warmer months, I'm just wearing these all the time. And even during the winter, I'll like throw it on and then put a hoodie over it so that, you know, always ready to go. Got a tank top underneath, but this is just a super good staple. And yeah, I thought it was really cute with the little buttons there, which is why I got it in two colors. I actually think I like this tan color even more. It is such a cute little color. I love this basic tank top too, and I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this over the summer, just throwing it on with a pair of shorts, and yeah, cute. Okay, what's next? How about this shirt? You guys, I love this shirt. I've already, I actually got this a week or two ago. I ordered this and that green high neck dress earlier, and then ordered this other stuff. I don't know, anyways, I've already worn this out to dinner once and it is so cute. It is that seamless, soft A and F collection. And it has a square neck. I think this shirt is so flattering. I think they also have it in a bodysuit, short sleeves, all that, super cute. But it is really thick, nice material and just like the perfect length too. It's like a little cropped, but not too cropped. And it is just so soft and just hugs you in. I, I'm like obsessed with this soft stuff. I wish you guys could feel this because it's so soft. But yeah, I love this one. And I think these are like on clearance too. I think I ch when I checked, this was like 15 to $20, somewhere in there, like 18 maybe. I don't know, which for like this quality of shirt, I feel like is a really good price. So I would definitely go grab one if I were you. We love this. This next shirt is honestly hideous on me. I'm not even gonna lie. I really thought it was cute online though. And I think actually that this is just a little bit, sorry, I'm tying the bow. I think this is a little bit too small on me. Maybe if I sized up, it would be cuter, but it is just this V-neck white shirt with a little tie in the back and these flutter sleeves. I think they also make this in like a dress with the sleeves. And it's not the sleeves that are the problem. I think it just fits me weird. So maybe I'll try getting this in a size up. I think where the ruffle just hits me is like wrong or something. I wanted to like it. It's really soft, nice material, but not today. So moving on, this little ruffle guy. How cute is this shirt? These little flowers and these little puff sleeves. And then the back has like this 
cinch stretchy material which is really nice because it's like very not stretchy in the front so it's nice to have the back be nice and stretchy and I think this top is so cute I wore it in the try on kind of tucked into jeans just like almost looks like a bodysuit then but you could wear it out too and I feel like this reminds me of a lot of things that I have seen on Revolve lately I feel like it is just so girly and cute it just makes me want to go have like a little picnic i don't know i was really into this and also i feel like this is a shirt that's like nice enough you could also wear with like a little heel and wear it to a shower or a like brunch this summer so yeah this one is really cute this one i will definitely be keeping and yeah the little ruffle sleeves i feel like are very in and just that sweet girly look <laughs> Okay, you guys, last thing that I got, I think, hopefully I didn't forget anything. Last thing that I got is another bathing suit, which is this little yellow one. Bottoms are inside out. Bottoms I got in a small, and these are just like a high waist cheeky bottom. I have these in blue as well that I got in the last haul and I love them. I have already worn them. So these are super cute. And then the top I got in this, I think they call this like the 90s fit top or something like that. But it is just kind of like a sports bra and then the back has these adjustable straps which it's super nice that it's adjustable because I feel like most sports bra tops like this don't have adjustable straps. I've been loving the bikinis that I got and I was excited to get another one. This on me right now, I think I need a tan to wear, to be honest, because it looked a little bit... I mean, it definitely has a pattern on it. But on me, it looked a little... It kind of washed me out being yellow. But I think once I get a tan this summer and start getting outside, that'll be super cute. And they just fit so nice and are really comfy. So I'm excited to wear that. So you guys, that is it for the haul. That is everything I got from Abercrombie. I will definitely be returning a few of the things, but there are also some pieces I love. So let me know what you guys are shopping at Abercrombie, if you have any recommendations for me, or have any questions about any of the stuff that I got. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, I will have every single thing linked down below, and make sure you go check out my last Abercrombie haul if you are interested in the stuff I got in the last haul. So I think Abercrombie really has made a huge comeback a lot of the stuff is so cute I didn't have quite as much luck this time around I am gonna have to do some exchanges and returns but overall the stuff is just super cute I'm really into it and I'm excited to wear it all this summer so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you are subscribed definitely go follow me on Instagram so you can see me wearing this stuff and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching Bye.